Hi friends. Everything we have seen around has a particular shape, size and dimension. Now looking at these few pictures, what can you guys understand? Now, when you all see these pictures, what do you think? I'm sure many of you must have identified various shapes in these images. But we never see the things as a bunch of angles or few lines or just a cluster of few points. When we break down all these shapes, it comes down to angles. Further we get lines and at the end we have a point. So, today in this session, instead of learning the shapes as whole, let's learn the various elements that form these shapes. So now, we know what a line is. And when two such lines intersect each other, angles are formed. Now we have few basic types of angles like acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle. Even when we have a straight line, it forms an angle of 180 degrees. But then ever wondered how to form an angle which is greater than 180 degrees and less than 360? Well, it is simple. These angles are called as reflex angles. So, till now, we were talking about only one angle. But when I draw one ray somewhere between the angle, now we have two angles which have one ray in common. Right? And such kind of angles are called as adjacent angles. Now these adjacent angles can be of various types and different measures. But when the addition of the adjacent angles is 90 degrees, they are called as complementary angles. And if their addition is 180 degrees, then they are known as supplementary angles. Another way of calling supplementary angles is a linear pair of angles. As of now, there was only one ray standing on the line and we call it as supplementary angles. What if there are various lines because of which various angles are formed? Will then all the addition of the angles will be 180 degree? And will we call all these angles as supplementary angles? The addition of all the angles will be 180 degrees. But all of these angles in together, we will not call them as supplementary angles. Let's see a few of these day-to-day -day images. Well, in here, one more type of angle can be observed and these are called as vertically opposite angles. Now here the fun fact is that the vertically opposite angles are always equal. Now if you don't believe me, I can prove that for you. Now suppose there is line L and M intersecting each other and forming vertically opposite angles. So. In here we can see that angle A plus angle B will be equal to 180 degrees and angle B plus angle C will also be equal to 180 degrees and the reason for both of them is linear pair of angles, right? Since the right hand side is equal, we can say that the left hand side is also equal. So from 1 and 2, so angle A plus angle B will be equal to angle B plus angle C. Now if we subtract angle B from both the sides, we can see that angle A is equal to angle C. Now in a similar way, you can also prove that angle B is equal to angle D. Here I just proved that vertically opposite angles are equal to each other. Till now we have learned that there are various types of angles and we know that the angles can be formed only if the lines are intersecting. But what do you think? When will two lines never intersect? Well, in case 1, if we extend these lines, they will eventually meet at some or the other point. But in case 2, these lines will never intersect because they are parallel lines. Now just imagine this like a railway track. Two tracks are always running parallel to each other but they never intersect or meet each other. So till now we have only two lines intersecting each other forming one angle. What happens when we have three lines? How will they intersect with each other? Let's see what are the various permutations and combinations related to the various angles that are formed. 
Now, any of these three possibilities can occur. Well, in case 3, we have 6 angles formed and this look very similar to the vertically opposite angles that we just studied. And you can find these angles when you eat your next pizza. Now, in case 1, we can see that there are 8 angles have formed. Angle A, B, G and H are called as exterior angles because they are outside the lines and angle C, D, E and F are called as interior angles because they are inside or between both the lines. Further, we have corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, interior angles on the same side of the transversal or they are also called as consecutive interior angles, allied angles or co-interior angles. But what happens to these angles when these two lines are parallel? Now for instance, let's look outside the window. Oh wait, why don't we look at the window only? In here also, we can see that there are two parallel lines and a transversal is passing through the parallel lines. So now what do you think? What happens to the angles formed? Now here, all the pairs of corresponding angles will be equal to each other. So from this, we can conclude that when a transversal cuts two parallel lines, then each of the corresponding angles are equal. But then what happened to the various other types of angles we just saw? Let's have a look at the alternate interior angles also. What do you think? Can they be equal to? We can prove it in just two simple steps. We know that angle A will be equal to angle E because they are corresponding angles. But angle A will be also equal to angle C because they are vertically opposite angles. So from 1 and 2 we can say that angle E will be equal to angle C. So here we can conclude that if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal. And we have one more property about interior angles which say that when the two lines are parallel then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Here it just means that that the addition of angle C plus angle F will be equal to 180 degree and the addition of angle D and angle E will be equal to 180 degree. Now there is a very simple explanation for this. Angle C plus angle B will be equal to 180 degrees and we know that angle B is equal to angle F because they are corresponding angles and hence we can say that the addition of angle C plus angle F will be equal to 180 degrees which just means that they are supplementary. And the converse of all these properties is also true which means that if any pair of these angles is equal it will conclude that the two lines will be parallel to each other. Now since we have learned so much about parallel lines and the angles formed by them let's see if we can answer this question. You are given two tracks A and B which are parallel to each other. Now both the tracks are cut by another track T. Track A also have another track C parallel to itself. Now what relation can you form between track B and track C? Now we can consider track T as a transversal which will form corresponding angles. So angle I will be equal to angle J because they are corresponding angles. Now because track A and track B are parallel which means the corresponding angles will be equal. And same is with angle I and angle K. So from 1 and 2 we can say that angle J is equal to angle K. And as we just saw, when the two corresponding angles are equal, then the two tracks are parallel to each other. So from here we can conclude that the track B is parallel to track C. And geometrically we can say that Lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. Here we are done with the first session of the chapter Lines and Angles. In order to do a recap, let's play a small game 
which will not only help you guys understand things but also how to logically apply it in real life situations. Here is a small maze and at the end of the maze is the food for your pet. The faster you finish, the sooner your pet will get the meal or else he will eat your meal. So without wasting any time, on your mark, get set and go. Hopefully you have enjoyed this session. Before we end it, I hope you remember that we left one criteria still to be understood. For that, wait for our next session. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.